Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Crash Team Racing. And in the last episode, we got the series started up. We uh, actually did the first three races in the game, and we did pretty damn well. I didn't, I didn't anticipate it going over that swimmingly, but I guess we're good. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna take on this next race here, the old uh, Super Speedway, the, probably the most generic possible name for a racetrack. But, hey, you know, just about every one of these games has one. Oh, it's Sewer Speedway, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's actually way better. That, that's that's 100% better than what I thought it was. Because, like, it seems like just about every, like, racing game of some kind seems to have one level called Super Speedway. I don't know why that is. I don't know why everybody had to go the, the ultra-generic route with that. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get super lucky in this game and not have to put up with that. And then, and then uh, everything will be good in our lives. Oh shit! Well, thanks, you dicks. This is like the this is the worst shape we've been in at any point in this game so far. But well, it'll be okay. There's plenty of time to come back from this. I forgot there's actually a couple different paths you can take uh, here. I don't remember how to get up one of the other directions, but yeah, there's obviously a branching path there. Kind of nifty. At least gives it a little a little more oomph, a little more variety. Dude, <laughs> I gotta tell you guys about this. I still can't even, I, I really, I can't even believe that it's real, but it's so funny. <laughs> oh man, I read the best fucking article today. Um, okay, hold on, wait, let me get through this little, little piece of, of shit first. Uh, I read the best fucking article before I started filming this, and I, I'm, I, I, I have to believe that it's real just because of like the other like, the piece of evidence they, they provided for it, but... <laughs> so, apparently, I don't remember where this guy's from, apparently this guy, I don't, I don't know, I can't remember where he, I think he was from, like, North Carolina, apparently this guy got arrested, he got arrested, um, and I think that the fine was, like, $200, so, like, he didn't actually, like, go to prison or anything, he wasn't going to, like, federal butt-pounding jail, drop the soap, your innocence is gone forever jail. But he he got arrested for failure to return a rented video that he had rented back in 2002. Oh no! I forgot to jump! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, I forgot you have to jump there. I mean, it obviously didn't hurt us any because we're still in first. But my God, I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> that was that could have been a very that could have been a very a very bad situation to get lodged up in. Oh no! God. Um, so yeah, he <laughs> he forgot to he forgot to return a video he rented way back when, and it uh, it definitely caught up with him. And the way the way that it all shook down was the funniest fucking way to have it happen. He was uh, he was taking his seven year old daughter to school at like seven thirty in the morning, which God, I am so glad that I don't have to continue going to school. For that very reason, I hated having to get up really early for school back then. I mean, naturally, he got out of school super early, so it didn't really matter, but... God, it sucked. <laughs> it was not fun. But, so he's, he's taking his daughter to school when a cop pulls him over. And I don't remember what... I think it was for, like, having, like, a headlight out or something. I don't, I don't remember... Or no, it was, like, having a brake light out. And so he, he goes up to him and, and he's, uh, he's like, Hey, can I, can I get your ID? And he's like, sure. And, and gives him the ID. And the cop goes back to his car and, and uh, runs everything. And, and then he... <laughs> then he, uh, he, he goes back up to him. He's like, I'm going to have to have you step out of the car and come around to the back, please. <laughs> oh, no, this guy... I forgot about Ripperoo, dude. We gotta, we gotta deal with him right now. Oh God, the Ripperoo challenge, huh? I, I remember, I, I vaguely remember this a little bit. Um, I'll check this out. <laughs> I can't remember what. I think does he just like? I think he constantly just like throws projectiles at you, just like all the time. Which, by the way, I have no idea how he's controlling that cart. He's in a straight jacket. He can't move his arms. <laughs> how is he steering that thing? <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, only a crazy person would be able to pull that off. Yeah, so he's just going to constantly drop TNT boxes. So that's... that's something. 
And the worst part is because he keeps dropping those things, there's like virtually no way, I mean, he'll be able to block like half of those. So it's going to be a pain. We need to get all these boxes so that we can speed up. Get that, that nice radius speed up dealer. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate these things. They're the worst. Ugh. Not to mention his, his crazy, incessant um, noise making in tomfoolery. Come on. I'm not having it, Ripper. I will not have any of your sauce, okay? Unfortunately, he's gonna constantly get in the way. Um, but yeah, so he's like, I need to have you come around to the back of the vehicle. Um, and uh, he's like, I'm placing you under arrest. And the guy's like, Seriously? Are you are you kidding? You're like, for what? And he's like, he's like, actually, there's there's a warrant out for your arrest. Um, he's like, he's like, are you serious? For what? Well, he's like, what did I what did I do? And uh, he's like, well, apparently you um, about 14 years ago you you uh, you forgot to uh, return a uh, VHS video that you had rented. And he's like, really? He's like. He's like, I don't even remember what it was. He's like, apparently the movie was Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> That's the best part of it. A guy gets arrested for not for not returning a video that he rented. And it turns out that of all the movies, of all the ones that could have possibly been in the world, it was Freddy Got Fingered. That is the greatest goddamn thing I have ever heard in my life. And so the guy gets handcuffed, and, and uh, I'm assuming he got taken downtown or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know if they let him take his daughter to school first, or if they just like made her sit in the car. <laughs> she didn't. She never got to class that day. And then she was later kidnapped, and uh, and sex trafficking became the the soup of the day. And that's terrible. <laughs> I 100% rescind that. That I'm gonna go to hell for that one. But, yeah, so they, I'm, I would imagine the cop probably let him take her to school first, because that would be really fucked up if he just, like, made the kid get out of the car and walk to school or whatever. That would be terrible. Um, but apparently... So apparently he ends up going down to, down to the thing. And, uh, I guess Tom Green had found out about this somehow. <laughs> and he posted on Twitter. This is the best part of it. He posts on Twitter later, he's like... He's like, I absolutely can't believe that this is real. <laughs> He's like, I heard about this, and I'm still struggling to to figure out that it's real. Um, that anybody could have possibly got sucked into that. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, man. What do we got here? Congratulations on opening this new era. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. <laughs> So, obviously, there's more tracks to race, but there's like... Ooh, what is this? Ah, Skull Rock, huh? Let's, uh, let's check this out. We didn't do this one. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it didn't show the items, but there's like Collect definitely... every crystal in the arena before the time runs out. If you can get them all, you will win a prize. Okay, sounds good to me. So we just have to get all the, all the crystals. But yeah, dude, um, he... <laughs> <laughs> he totally found out about it and actually contacted the guy and is like <laughs> and he he called him. I don't know how the hell he got his number. But uh he calls him up and he uh I guess the way that well, like the guy the guy's like hello and the way that Tom Green pulls this fucking shit out he <laughs> he says Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> That's the way that he actually initiates the conversation with this dude. <laughs> it was so funny. And I guess the, the guy just like he couldn't even he couldn't even handle it like he he just like started laughing pretty much uncontrollably. It was so awesome. But is that not like the most ridiculous story? A guy gets a guy gets uh, a horrible penalty of two hundred bucks just for uh, not having returned that movie of all movies, one of the worst movies ever. And uh, and then he gets a call from Tom Green himself. And uh, Tom Green ends up paying the whole thing for him. Super cool. I mean, at least he, at least uh, you know, at least Green was a cool guy about it. He could have easily taken the dick around me like, ha ha, you fucker. But uh, he totally didn't do that. I don't know where the other two crystals are at. This isn't good. This is not good. Where are they? Oh no! Oh god. Oh no. No. Where are you? Oh, there's one over there. Come on, baby! I gotta get these things! I don't wanna do this again! Ah! Oh! Oh! 
Oh man, that was really close. Woo! Oh man, thank God for Nas. Oh, no. <laughs> Woo. oh wow, I am so glad that was right there, because that would have been the worst. Like, what if we would have pulled up to that thing, like, right as time expires, and, like, we were, like, just a foot away from it? That would have been the worst. I kind of, I'm kind of in a weird spot here, because I, I do want to go, I do want to go and see all the different levels, but I do want to get all the, I think we're just going to go through all the, all the levels organically. And then we'll come back and, and go for uh, we'll go for completion's sake here, or you know and, until we hit like an impasse where like they force us to have more of those respective items. So I think we'll we'll just do this first. Ah, oh, see, there are certain things that we need that for. But that's okay. We'll we'll come out here and uh, and see what they've got. If there's anything good here, or if they're gonna actually force us into doing it their way, which I think might be what's going on here might actually force us to do it their way. What's down here? Is this another one? Come on! There we go. So that's just the... Man, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I guess this is the area that they were talking about. So that entire second area is just gonna be more of like a specialty thing, I guess. Coco Park. We'll do that one. We got time for it. Why the hell not? <laughs> so, yeah, dude, that's, that's extra good times. Really, really, really good. Good, funny stuff. Um, oh, you know what? Speaking speaking of... of uh, in, in my last video, I was talking about, like, top five lists. Or, like, like top lists of, like, weird and obscure things. And, uh, you know, I've... I've never... I've never particularly gotten into... Like, I, I love creepypastas. Creepypastas are one of my favorite things. Like, I know none of them are real, obviously, but I, I do I do love the fact that, you know, creativity still exists in, in the world today. I mean, I know that people will be like, oh, they're just stupid urban legends and they're all, fan, you know, fan-made, whatever. But a lot of them are actually... They're actually made really, really well. Uh, there are a lot of them that are just absolute, just heated garbage, <laughs> you know? I, I've I've heard a number of those. I mean, they're just like recycled vomit out of out of the uh, out of the world we live in. But there are some that like legitimately, when you read them, they're like, "This is actually pretty good." I gotta give them credit. Um, <laughs> why did she fire that? Who did she think was up there? Just ah, there's a ghost! Ah! God, I was trying to outrun that thing. Oh, sometimes there is there is no escape. There is only Zul. Oh man, I kind of want to save this. I I, I want to save this for for a moment that I need invincibility. I think we're gonna do that, and especially because it also has kind of that star power quality where it makes you go faster. I think we're gonna we're gonna save it. We're gonna need it. But um, the other day, there's a there's a, a channel that I'm subscribed to called Tat's Top Videos, and this guy does all sorts of of different types of uh, top videos. But the one, the one that he, uh, the one, the latest one that he put up was one about like the SCP Foundation, which um, I've never been like super into those. Like, there's definitely some interesting ones in there, but it was one that was all about like, uh, it was one that was dedicated to all like SCP buildings, and uh, it was it was really it was actually rather interesting. Like, I obviously I went into it knowing that obviously these aren't real. Um, but the production value of the videos are really, really good. And it just, like, from watching those and, like, hearing the descriptions of them, it just, like, it makes you really happy that people are, like, people are still creative, you know? Like, because there's, there's so many things anymore, like, especially with, like, popular music, and in some cases, like, uh, like movies, they're, a lot of them, they're just, like, cookie cutters, you know? And, or, like, or... Like, you know, music, they're using, they're just, it's, like, there's like a formula for popular music where you just do, like, the same shit and it'll, and it'll get popular. You don't have to have necessarily creativity for that. Or, like, with movies now, they're doing a lot of remakes of older movies because people are running out of ideas. Like, the creativity is just not there. And even with games, I mean, we're seeing that a lot, especially with, like, first-person shooters. They all look the same. And so, what do we got now? You can go faster through turns by power sliding. To access the power slide, press and hold the R1 button while turning hard. Okay. 
Fair enough. I kind of already knew that, but I was wondering if there was like some other sort of like button command that I needed to have in order to like actually execute it. Because I know you can do this. I just don't know. Like, do you have to hit like a certain button to like engage the like the going fast part of it or what? Oh no, dude! I hate this level. Tiger Temple sucks. This one's this one's not good. But yeah, dude. So I was I was watching some of those, and like one that really stuck out with me was like one of the first ones. It was like it's this one where it's like on the outside, it's just like it's like a regular, just kind of run down, beat up, abandoned house. But and on the inside, it's also a very run down, beat up house. But apparently, a quote unquote quality that this that this house possesses is um, depending on the way that you enter the house, it can actually. It, it it can change um, like the like the types of, of furnishings that it has inside. So they were saying like in the description of it, they were they sent two different teams of people in, and uh, and they were able to you know they were able to see like both different sets of, of furniture inside of the house, and they have like the same sort of floor plans, uh, but just like based off of the way that they entered the house is kind of what dictated how that how it all happened. It's really cool though, um, and they had like this different, um, at least these different like a, a electronic equipment things that could graph where where the two different teams were at, and they were like in virtually the same exact places, um, but they but like the two teams couldn't see each other in 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 this particular house. It was because they were in like almost like different dimensions, so to speak. But it was like it was a really creative thing. It was it was super cool just to just to uh, actually. Uh, just to just to read it and to see the way that like the video like portrayed this place it was uh, it was really cool. So while I, while I I don't always while I don't always uh, watch like SCP related things just because some of the items in themselves are a little bit underwhelming and kind of boring. The particular one with the buildings was one that really kind of stuck out with me. I really liked that one. So. Whoa. This, uh, yeah, dude, this, this level's tough, man. It's, it's hard. Like, the, <laughs> it's, it's funny that the, uh, the level design itself kind of strangely looks like a penis. <laughs> or, uh, or, uh, maybe even kind of like a, like a soggy business tie or something. <laughs> or even like a, like a cartoony golf club or something, but, uh, it's actually, it's a pretty tough little level. Really need to stave these guys off. I mean, we've, we've been kind of, we've been kind of sitting in in like third place for the majority of this race, so I would love to be able to hold these fools off for just like another 15 seconds for crying out loud. This is good. This is good. This is good. Come on, baby. Don't let me down! Oh, no! Of course that happens! No! Yeah! <laughs> we still did it! Oh, man, that was amazing. <laughs> Oh, dude, I was just like, I was crossing my fingers and my toes when I went into that last little tunnel that I wasn't going to get hit by something during that. And of course it happens. Oh my god, that was, that was intense. <laughs> we did it, though. We totally did it. Crash and his maniacal smile pulled it off. Justice prevails! Wow. Okay. Man, right when I thought this game was going to be nice and relaxing, here I am <laughs> having, like, a goddamn aneurysm over it. Whew. Alright, we're good. We're totally good. What the hell is he wearing? Is he wearing a... It's like a... F oh, that's the guy that has the, uh... Yeah, I remember that guy. I don't... Um... What's his name? I almost said Chocodile. It's definitely not Chocodile. Um... Yeah, it's it's the yeah the guy with the ice shards and he uses the flamethrower to blow him up and you go and you know make him explode and all that. I remember now. All right, you win a trophy. I sure do. Oh, of course, of course you have more to say. To get a turbo boost while power sliding, wait until the smoke from your. All right. Fair enough. He's like, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm getting a phone call right now. Oh, shut up. Access this boss garage. You must come in first place in all four races of this area. Okay. I'll do that then. Thanks for uh, letting me know. Well, we need what we need to do is we need to go save actually, um, because we're pretty much out of time. 
It was weird though. Like, why did why did his voice just start cutting out like that? <laughs> He's like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I, I I gotta take I gotta take this call real quick. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go save real quick here, <laughs> as we just go plow our cart into that, and uh, we'll call it good. Fourteen team percent, and uh, we're moving along quite nicely. So, my friends, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Crash Team Racing, we're going to go take on yet another couple challenges, and we'll have more stuff to talk about. But until then, this is your host saying thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.